Oh, look at that lovely fire. Welcome back everybody to camping with Tony and Bruno who is lying here. Um, it's chucking down, it's grim, it's a, another normal camp for me. We're off to a site that I love, I haven't been to for three months and uh, it's a fantastic site that Bruce used to love going to, my border collie uh, who passed away a few months ago. So I thought it'd be nice to go there by the stream. It is chucking down, so I don't know how high the water level is gonna be on the stream. It could be an interesting crossing, um, but I'll film that anyway. So grim weather, it's cold. We've got about an hour to get there to the site. I've been to the shop to get all our supplies. The back of the truck is full of gear and I'm testing out a whole bunch of new gear this is definitely not an ultralight camp. So bring you back everybody when we're on the dirt road getting to the campsite. So Bruno can see all the sheep, the cows, the llamas are about to go past a whole load of cows. Oh, he's got a loud bark. Bruno. All right, it's okay. <laughs> he's... They're okay, Bruno. It's fine. Oh, you have to go through a farm and all these farm gates to get to this camp spot. <laughs> you can one last gate. Here we go. You can watch Bruno while I go and deal with this gate. What did he do while well, I was gone? Yeah, so it's a lot easier when you've got two people to do all the farm gates. But that was the last gate. So always leave gates as you find them. Okay, we're on our way. You right, Bruno? All right, let's get there. camp. There's 
there's nobody else here, which is just the way we like it. So we're going to go over by the river and I'll bring you back when I'm setting up. Ah, welcome everybody. Let's let Bruno out. Young Bruno. All right, so we're at the campsite. It's loud, we're right by a river. I've got a, Bruno is new to all of this because he's a pup. Hey Bruno, come here. So Bruno is a now 11 month old border collie purebred pup and he's just gonna have a great time running around checking out all the smells. So I don't know how much you're gonna see of him, but let's go and get him his treat. Okay, so Bruno always gets a treat when we're setting up camp. for being such a good boy and just to keep him a bit calm and so I can keep an eye on him and he's sitting like such a good boy look at him sitting there nicely are you going to sit for your treat? are you going to come up to get it? it? <laughs> well he's got it alright everybody let's get the tent set up I've got a massive uh, tent it's a Zempire it's another Zempire air tent it should be quite exciting um, I'm going to fast forward through the setup of this tent because you've seen me pump tents up before but it's pretty self-explanatory and you'll see it from, uh, from the video. So let's get on with it. Right, so this is a brand new tent that Zempire has sent to me. So I haven't, I haven't had a chance to open it. It's too big to open at home. Um, it's probably got all the, the wrapping paper, the stuffing paper, because it's brand new unopened. So you're going to see me clearing a lot of stuff out of this thing.
Thank you. That's the great thing about this tent. It's the windows. To let all the light in. Might not look like it on the camera, but that's a lot of light. Okay, I've got our beds. And I've got my chair. This is a Zempire Stargazer. All right, let's get the bedroom set up. Okay, so these bedrooms have what's called a blackout. So it's pretty much pitch black inside. So you're probably not gonna see much. But there is a clip here to put a light on. Now unlike the bigger version of this tent, the TM, doesn't look like there's many pockets. There's a couple of pockets down below but nothing up the middle or anything. But there's loads of room. Let's put the light on. All right, let's get the bed set up. So we've got Bruno's bed. There we go, and he's never slept on that before, so this will be interesting. And then my bed. Alright, so we'll set that up later with all the bedding. Um, but for now, there's no real reason to go in there with anything. I do need to bring a car mat out just to put here, uh, just to make it easy to walk in and out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring you back when everything is unpacked. Okay, it's just starting to rain again, so what I think I might do is I've got an awning for this thing, so let's get that set up as well. Now, it comes with its own poles, but as usual, I'm using my own poles and my own pegs. And as usual, I should have read the instructions before I attempted this. Okay, so it should be a matter of just taking these straps off and then hooking these onto here. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's got a pool, but I can lower it a bit. 
You have to forgive me for shouting, it's the river is really loud. Not too shabby. Okay, let me get on with the rest of it. Okay, let's get the lamps set up. Okay, <laughs> we're looking really good. I'm very happy with this, but I need to get the fire lit. Um, so what I'll do is, let's get the fire lit and then let me give you a little tour of camp. Okay, so I've got charcoal. Um, it's gonna give off a lot of heat. This is uh, plastic, so I've gotta be a bit careful about this. So I'm probably gonna cook it just outside. So just there, just away from being underneath this because it'd be so hot. It's got my ground plate. Yeah, I've got the snow peak fire. I get a lot of questions about this fire. It's a brilliant piece of kit. So we've got a big bag of charcoal, fire lighting fluid, matches okay let's get this loaded up find out Bruno Every time I struggle with these strings. Leave it, Bruno. Okay, I've got some fireproof gloves. Just so my hands don't get filthy dirty. Take plenty of gel.
and hope that your matches work. No, these are the world's worst matches. They just, they've not been exposed to water or anything. They're just rubbish. No, I'm gonna have to use lighter. Okay, so we'll leave that to get going. Let me give you a tour of the area. I'm gonna change into my gum boots, my Wellington boots, just because it's so muddy. So I'll bring you back on the GoPro. Okay, welcome back everybody. I, I feel like I can smile now. I've, had, I've got a lot done. So temperature is dropping fast. Let me give you a little tour in the tent. Let me just crank the, uh, the brightness up on this. So it's a big space. I've got a full size, that thing is massive and that's my cot there. It's meant for four people if you put it that way. Um, but it's a big space, I mean look, you can see, it's, over, it's way over six foot, plenty of room. So lots of space, dark room, mosquito mesh and a blackout blind, ventilation at the back there and there's ventilation on the outside as well. Hello Bruno. What are you up to? So I've got all this room here, uh, which is fantastic. I've got my PVC windows, I've got my mesh here for airflow, mosquitoes, same on the other side, exactly the same. Um, got my hanging points everywhere for my lamps. So what I've done is uh, you can zip this awning to the inside here. So tonight, that might be what I do is I zip it up. So I've got another room in here, completely enclosed. And also the awning does come with, now I bought the awning myself. The awning does come with mosquito mesh as well. I just haven't bought it with me. Um, so yeah, awning looks good. The chairs, Empire sent me this thing. We'll see how comfy that is tonight. The Zempire, I can't remember what it is, Stargazer? Yeah, Stargazer. We've got the fire going. And this is what it looks like. Not too shabby. Now I could probably have done a better job. There's an electrical power inlet there. There's ventilation everywhere, but I think just having that one open at the back like I have is enough ventilation. And you can see up, if I go up in there, you can see where the ventilation is the mosquito mesh I think that should be enough and then you've got these straps that are basically holding everything together that's camp got my truck got my Starlink on the top there because there's no mobile signal here the truck got very messy we went pretty deep As you can see the water came up to here and I dinged, uh, I dinged the wheels on some pretty big rocks coming through there. Look at that, that's actually taken a chunk of alloy. This is why you've got to have strong wheels and tires. Yeah. And then in the truck. I just fitted this thing in the back of my truck. So just more storage space. Uh, straps for the awning. I just keep bits and bobs in here. 
my thermocell. Then in here, I've got the fridge uh, with tonight's dinner in there. I've got my EcoFlow. This is the uh, this is the Delta Max. Got that running, so that's powering my fridge and it's powering the Starlink. And then I think I've got a spare cooker in here as well and a radiator just in case it gets really cold, which I don't think it will get that bad. All right, let's have a look around. So let me sh oh look at the fire. It's already cranking. It's a little bit of smoke, not much. But that'll keep insects away. Once that gets really hot, there won't be any smoke. And then I've got a device that I attach these walls, which gets superheated. So that will be interested. Interesting. And Bruce is run Bruno. I mean, oh, Bruno is running round and round and round. Look at him go. Ready for him? Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Here he comes. Bruno, what are you doing? <laughs> Should we show everyone the river? Come on then. Right, so Bruno's already been in here. He's already been for a swim. So just like Brucey, he loves the water. Look at this spot. How majestic is that? I've got this whole place to myself. Come on, Bruno. He's got a stick or something there, bone. Yeah, beautiful. Give me some light. So, stunning spot. I love it right here. Look at how close I am to the river to camp. So that's a good one meter up. Actually, maybe a meter and a half. So it's quite safe. I've been here when this thing has been a torrent and it's not been a problem. Bruno, what are you doing? So Bruno's already been right in the deep bit for a swim. No fear, loves water, just like Brucey did. All right, come on then, let's get back to camp. So I think it's time for a brew. Definitely time for a brew. Let's get a brewski. So we're going to have a Cassell's New Zealand double milk, cream, cream milk stout. Yum. Uh, okay, bring you back on the big camera. Okay, everyone, let's put this on. Oh, let me just turn this light off a second. Don't think I need that. Okay, can you all see me? I hope so. All right, I can already feel the heat from this now. So this thing is called the Floga. Again, it's Snow Peak. So the idea behind this is it gasifies. Again, I bought all this stuff. So it gasifies the fire. Um, and the walls of it get really super hot and give you a more controlled burn. Okay. I hope if I got it the right way up. Okay, so. Now it's a bit finicky. But it's worth it. I tested it at home and it was much, it was much uh, hotter. 
Okay, so that goes on, like so. And that's it, you don't have to do anything else. And in fact, now that this is a light, I can add more coal, get this thing really cranking. More charcoal. Nice, that'll just take off. So, let's spread this out a bit. So why do I use charcoal and not wood? Hello, Bruno. Oh, he's having so much fun. Hello. Do you need somewhere to lie down? So I could bring his bed out, but he will not lie on it. Um, he's just, honestly, he's bombing around. So maybe let Bruno away from the fire. Come on, away. You're gonna burn yourself. So maybe later, I'll put his bed out while I'm doing dinner. Okay, cheers everybody. Thanks for coming along on this one. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. Wow, that's really good. Mm. So, oh, I tell you what, this chair, this Zempire Stargazer, very, very comfortable, I have to say. That might even be more comfortable than that click chair I've been using. Stargazer, so the whole point is you're going to lean back. I tell you what, I could lean back and if there were stars, I could see through the plastic on top of the uh, awning here. That would be pretty cool. Nice. All right, I'm happy. This is a good setup. I like it and I prefer it with the awning because then I don't have the straps coming down. Um, I can sit further out. If it got really bad, I could just move in here and I've got a lot more protection. Bruno, please don't dig a hole here. Bruno, no, 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 no. I don't want loads of holes around camp. <laughs> There's just so much for him to look at and play with. And he's had his T-R-E-A-T, so. All right, everyone, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna chill with my beer. And then I will bring you back for my epic dinner, which will be quite a bit later because we're here quite early and I just want to chill out. So I'll bring you back for dinner. Okay, so there's a rope bridge here <laughs> and I guess who's come up here? I followed him up and he's behind me now. So let's see what he does. He's very good at agility. Oh, he's looking a bit sheepish now he's come up here. I think he thinks he's made a mistake. What do you think, Bruno? Should we go home, back to the tent? Come on then, turn around, let's go. Can you turn around? Or are you stuck? Do I need to pick you up? <laughs> I don't know why he followed me up here. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bruno, can you back down? Let's see what he can do. Now, Border Collies are brilliant at these sorts of agility things. Right, I need to put the camera away to climb over him. So I'm going to climb over him, see if he follows me back down. Hang on, I'll bring you back. Okay, <laughs> I've clambered past him. Let's see if he follows me down. If not, I'll have to pick him up. Are you coming? Let's see what he does. Oh, look at that. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Bruno. Should we get you a treat? All right, got to go back. Got to go back and get him a treat just for that. He's so clever. Bruce could never get up there. Um, he was just, he just didn't want to go up. Bruno was not afraid at all and just went straight up. 
didn't you Bruno? So this is the swing bridge. So we only went up to here, just to this point here. I didn't carry on any further, but he would have followed me all the way, no problem. He has no fear. Are you going in? So this is just further up from where we're camped. So we're camped all the way down there. It's a shame there isn't a stick here I can throw in there for him, but he would go for it. You know, what's this? Right, so it's kind of it's calm over there. So let's see if he goes for it. <laughs> oh, he's such a water dog. So since you saw him last, he's been for swims in lots of rivers and in the sea. So he's really got used to it. Hopefully he respects the current now. Oh, he just got carried away a little bit there, but no problem, he's back. Oh! <laughs> right, see you back at the tent. Actually, I thought I'd bring you along for the walk back. Just a nice quiet walk with Bruno and me. Come on, Bruno. Oh, look at that lovely fire. That is cranking. Okay, bring you back everybody for dinner. Ah, welcome back everybody. Let me just check that you've got me in frame. Yeah, you do, okay. So, what we need to do is, hello Bruno, it's not time yet for your dinner. Um, mind out, you're gonna get hot. So this thing is kicking off some serious heat. Uh, it's raining, just very gentle. You, you can't see on camera and you can't hear it because of the noise of the river. Um, but it's wet and it's steaming from the heat from the fire. So I've got something special lined up, which we're gonna need a few things. So first of all, 
Gonna need a tripod. And then this tripod is gonna sit over the fire. And that's how I'm gonna to cook tonight's dinner. Now I don't know if I actually need the chain. We will see. Okay, so I haven't thought this through. Huh. Okay, I had a backup. <laughs> okay, because I've got the walls on this thing, the tripod won't fit. Ah, oh, I was really looking forward to doing that. Okay, but I want to keep the walls on it. The Floga walls, or whatever they're called. Because they're working. Okay. So, I've got a backup. Uh, I was, so, I was going to use the tripod and cook over it. Hanging my... Uh, hanging the Dutch oven. But instead, we will revert to just using the grill. Which works as well. And that sits on the Floga too, I think. Yeah, it does. All right. And then what are we going to cook? Well, I've got the Dutch oven. <laughs> Gosh, I hope you can see me. It's, it's pretty dark. I know the camera's showing some light behind, but it, it's quite deceiving. Okay, I've got the Dutch oven here. And you see, it's got this handle on, so it would have worked quite well. Oh well, never mind. So that will go on there. So we'll get that nice and hot. Mind out, Bruno, honestly. All right, I need to go to the fridge. Okay, so in the fridge I've got cheese, sour cream, avocado, olives, onion, tomato, and beef. Can you guess what I'm having? It's tricky. Okay, let's get all this back over by the fire. Okay, so what I might have to do is bring the table closer. The trouble is, it draws Bruno in, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, all right, we'll see what we can do here. We'll work it, we'll work it out. Okay, beef has got to go in. Get some oil in here. Bruno, out. I knew you'd come loitering. Oh, you're a pest. It's not time for his, his dinner yet. Oops. Okay. Get my special Bruno. Bruno, out. Go on. Out. Out. Out, Bruno. Go away. Out. Don't go back in there. Bruno, away. Go on. All right. So. Okay, the beef is on. Now, I might actually have to... Wow, that's hot. 
Bruno, you must go away. Stop being a pest. Go away. Go on, away. That's so hot. Oh man. And I've got this really high up as well. Okay, so the beef is cooking. Let me uh, zoom you in a little bit. All right, so while we're waiting for that, let's give him his dinner because he's just gonna pester me constantly. Sit. Sit, Bruno. Good boy. Okay, I must make sure my beef doesn't burn. Well, give him his dinner down here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Go on then. Okay, and I need to chop up the onion and the tomato. At the same time, I've got to make sure this beef doesn't overcook. No, actually, that's good. Ah, and you're wondering what I'm making. <laughs> I'm making nachos. Actually, I don't need to chop up the avocado yet. I forgot my chopping board. You know me, I forget something every time. Just is what it is. Okay. I forgot my actual cooking knife as well. <laughs> Listen, you try doing all this with new equipment every time. All right, we can incinerate that on the fire. That will all burn on the side. Okay, onion. And tomato. And what you do is, with the nachos, obviously all you do is layer it. Is that beef browned? It has, okay. So I need to chuck the nacho spice in. Don't rush when you're with the knife. And we'll add the avocado afterwards. Okay, nacho spice is here. Typical, it's not a tear one. All right. Tell you what, this is a great temperature for the Dutch oven. That's working perfectly. Okay, so we let this beef absorb the flavors of the nacho seasoning for a bit. So I'm gonna have to turn these lights up a bit, hang on. Ah, oh, how's that? <laughs> I hope it, the picture's okay. This is a tricky one to cook and film. Yeah, that's actually, that's cooking really well. Perfect, okay. Bruno, away, come on, you've had it now. Out, out, go on, go away, out. All right, so we're gonna to have to get this all ready to go. <laughs> oh, it's such a mess. Okay, I've got my tortilla chips. 
All right. So the beef I'm going to take out and put into this pan just temporarily. Yeah. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so we need to take the beef out, which is easier said than done. Okay. Not burnt at all. Good. Ow, ow, ow. It's hot. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> I need to put layers in. So let's get on with that. All right. Change of plan. Let me just see if you can see. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Okay, there you go. So change of plan. I'm gonna set it all up here just because it'll be a lot easier. Okay, so let's put a layer of tortillas on. Layer of beef. Oh yeah. Okay, now, do I put the avocado on just on top or shall I put it in the middle as well? Eh, you know what, let's chop the avocado up. Let's do it. Because, nobody cares. And it's all still gonna taste great. Okay, so we'll just mush the avocado in there a bit. Okay, some onion and some tomato. Oops, don't. Five second rule. Okay, all right, some more tortillas. It's a good job I bought two packets. Perfect, okay, rest of the beef. Okay, rest of the tomato and onion. And I know I haven't put a cheese layer in yet. I will. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be fantastic. And then mozzarella, lashings of mozzarella. Because I want this thing to drip all the way through. Oh no, getting cheese everywhere. Well, Bruno will like the cheese. Okay, so that's on there. And then I'm just gonna top off with a few more corn chips, like that. Some olives, sliced olives. They don't need to go all the way through. Just have them on top, that's fine. Okay. And then just to top it off, a bit more cheese. Everybody does this differently. But you know what? This is my channel. <laughs> so 
so I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. It's going to bubble up from the bottom, it's going to draw that cheese down. And no, I'm not going to finish all of this in one sitting. I'm going to take this back with me. Okay, let's get this on the stove. Is that everything I need? It's everything. Okay, let's get it on the stove. All right, let's put that on there. Put the lid on. Okay, give that about, let's see, how long does everyone think? I'd say 15 minutes. And hope, and hope that it doesn't burn. Can you see me? Yeah. And just hope that it doesn't burn. Um, so what's going on here? Is it on properly? Oh, it is. Oh, hang on, I need to just pick this end up. Now you try doing this for YouTube. Uh-oh, it's sliding. Urgh. The whole thing's moving. Why is that? Okay. Because it was so heavy. That's why. There you go. Okay. We're laughing. Ah, I'm hoping in 15 minutes, we've got perfect nachos. Let me turn these down a bit for you now. I know they were bright. Right, in other news, oh, let's put Bruno's collar on him. Bruno, come here. Hold on, let's put your collar on. We'll just put it on dim, you don't need it on full blast, do you? Then everyone can see you. Okay, there you go, off you go. Uh, yeah, so in other news, uh, no, no, Bruno, away from the fire, come on, off you go, away. No, 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 I'm talking to the camera. Oh, yeah, in other news, um, I'm warm. This thing's giving off a ton of heat. So the thing with these walls, these Floga walls, is it um, stops the wind, it contains the heat, and what happens is no matter where you're sitting, it bounces that heat back to you from the opposite side that you're looking at. And Bruno, come here. He's freaking out because the light is on his collar. Hold on. You've had it on there before. Wait. There. Okay. Um, so the heat bounces back at you. So it's so warm here. You step just outside of the tent and it's freezing cold. Bruno, away from the fire. Come on. Bruno, away. Away. Go away. Go on. You gotta be, you're going to burn yourself. No. Go away. You've got to be strict with him. He burns himself then. Yeah, so it's freezing cold just outside of the walls here. So I think tonight it's meant to get down to just above freezing. Um, ah, that's not so bad, but we'll see. This meal is going to be absolutely epic. I can't wait, honestly, I can't wait. So I'll bring you all back. When I'm having my nachos, my beer is almost gone. I've been drinking it really slowly. Mm. In fact, that was it. So uh, it'll be wine with dinner. So bring you back in 10 minutes for the nachos. Okay, time's up. Right, let's get this onto here. 
let's see what we're looking at. Oh. So I've got a special cradle thing there to just rest it on and I've got a little handle here to hook the lid up with in case it's really hot. Oh wow. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at the cheese. Cheese is stuck to the top. Oh my word, look at that. Oh that Oh that smells Bruno go away, you're gonna get burnt. That smells absolutely amazing. I can't describe the smell. I'm gonna eat this in this pan. Now, how are we gonna do this? Let's take a huge scoop out. Oh no, oh no. There it goes. Oh man, look at this. Oh, I've got to get the beef. Got to get everything. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I burnt it a little bit at the bottom. Tiny bit at the bottom is burnt. But that's okay, because on the bottom it's just corn chips, I don't care. That's not a big deal. I need a bigger spoon. I should have bought a serving spoon. Oh man, just, the smells. Oh, I, I want to tuck into this, but at the same time I need to eat. I need to get it more in. Hang on. There we go. Come on. Oh, the cheese, everything smells amazing. I probably overdid it by a couple of minutes. Ow, that's hot. Yeah, I'd say by a couple of minutes. Gosh, I could eat all of this actually. All right. Now, what we need is fresh sour cream. This is organic stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, and hang on, what am I missing? I'm missing Tabasco. Have you seen who's sitting right behind me, waiting? There's just no way. <laughs> um, it would be the worst night in the tent of all time. Tabasco, Tabasco, Tabasco. Come on, here it is. Okay. Oh, it's still sizzling. Lashings of Tabasco. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. And let's not forget a bottle of wine. And we are having the Craggy Range Tukahu, which is a blend of basically every red grape you can name. That's all you need to know about that. So yeah, I brought the table closer. Thought it would make much more sense. We need to get into this, we really do. Ah, uh, bon appetit everybody. Now, I'm gonna have to move my hoodie strings around. Do you all want to see this? Check that out. But I don't know if you can see it, and it's raining. Hang on. Yeah, how's that? <laughs> nachos, beef nachos. Oh, yeah, it's raining quite a bit. When did that kick off? Okay, let's go for this. Now, usually I'd use my hands. 
can I? Mm. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. 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 You know what? I don't know how it's possible. It's better than I possibly thought it could be. I've got loads left. You know, somewhere there's someone camping and doing a YouTube video and they're eating rehydrated meals out of a packet, even at camp. We're not. We're having proper gourmet <laughs> loaded nachos. Wow. Oh. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Can't believe it. Mm. That goes very well. I'm so happy. I'm warm. I could, if I wanted to be even warmer, I could move back into there. There's so much space in the front of this tent. It's unbelievable. And I have the bigger version of this, the TM, which is gigantic. It's, this whole thing is another section and that's an enclosed section, but it's just so big. This is actually perfect for two people or a person and his dog, perfect, especially with the awning. I recommend the awning. The only thing is wind could come through if it was windy, but then you, you go in this bit here behind me and you have the fire just outside and you'll be toasty warm. And there's a huge bedroom. That bedroom is big. You can stand up in it, no problem. Whereas the Oz tent one I tried, the four person, that was terrible. Couldn't stand up at all. In fact, all Oz tents are terrible. You can't stand up in them properly. You have to stand right at the very front of them. and then get dripped on. That's the Ostent experience. Getting dripped on and condensation. You know, I don't think Ostent is Australian anymore. I think it's Chinese. That explains it. Mm. So yeah, full disclosure, it's Empire, who made this tent, it's Empire. They're based in New Zealand. They sent me this tent for free. I offered to pay, but I've already got two others and I've done video, lots of videos on them and they wanted me to do one on this smaller one, so they were happy to give it to me. They are expensive, but they are superb.
you know the thing with nachos or certain foods this is giving me a memory flashback to sitting in a sports bar 12 years ago in oh man where was it I think it was it was Palm Desert yeah sitting in a sports bar in Palm Desert with my wife Anne and my son Brandon and we were having loaded nachos yep isn't that funny how food triggers a memory incredible and it's vivid hmm I'm telling you, I'm sorry for people who don't like me eating on the microphone. You just have to get over it. Uh, I'm telling you, this is one of the easiest and yet tastiest meals you can make for everybody on a camping trip. This and burgers, and you know I love my burgers. Mm. Mm. every mouthful is so good and the Tabasco that was definitely the right move alright everybody I'm going to slow it down a bit, but I am going to finish this. The rest of that is going in the fridge once it's cooled down. And that's going to be my lunch tomorrow. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so happy. And the rain was quite gentle but persistent and it hasn't stopped for the last couple of hours on and off you can't pick it up on camera there's not enough of it to pick up but it is it, it, it's just non-stop in fact oh my hat's wet my table is wet because it's I'm overhanging Hold on. So I had it pushed out a little bit too far in the awning. You see it's all wet here. Oh, I didn't realize he was lying behind me and he's wet. He's here. He's right under my chair. Did you guys all know he was there? He's waiting for me to drop food. I can't believe it. Can you see him? Between my legs, here. I had no idea he was there. Man, he's learnt fast, hasn't he? All right, everybody. Cheers. We'll bring you back for cigar time. Welcome back everybody. Oh man, it's cold. Even with this fire on, it's pretty frigid. I need to put a jacket on. Ironically, it's warmer back here. Because, well, it's not in the breeze or anything back here. Oh. Okay, let's get the, let's get the puffer jacket on. <laughs> this fire is hot. It's giving off a lot of heat, but 
Let me just readjust microphones here. The problem is, it's just so cold. <laughs> you just adjust. Oh, I'll get there, don't worry. It's so cold <laughs> that even that's not enough. Oh. I don't know if you can see my breath. It's, 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 it's pretty cold. I think it's, it's literally zero. He has found a bone. Looks like a deer bone. And he's just happy as anything. I, he won't go on to bed. He won't do anything. He's happy lying out in the rain. Uh, there was some pooling. There was a whole load of water on the top. Um, and I happened to just brush past it and it all fell off. So tonight, I'm not sure what to do, whether to lower the awning or not. Could be a bit of a pain. Um, because I'll have to dismantle the poles and set it all down. I just don't know if I can be bothered. I think I'm too lazy to do that. So what are we gonna have? I've got a choice. I think I'll have a Monte Cristo number four. Yes, yeah, so welcome to Cigar Time. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner was amazing. I just carried on and on and on. And oh, just tasted so good. I don't think anything was missing from that. Now, everyone's going to have their own nacho, cheese nachos, fully loaded nachos recipe, the layers, the way you've got to do it, and everything else. It's okay, that's fine. It's just the way I like to do it. I'm happy to hear suggestions, but to be honest, there'll probably be a thousand suggestions, so I won't be able to get to read them all. So, cigar time. A lot has happened since my last video. Oh. That's the best bit of camping, it really is, cigar time. The decent glass of wine, a decent glass of wine and a decent cigar. Mm-hmm. So first of all, as usual, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has contributed to the channel in uh, terms of buy me a coffee, treats, um, YouTube memberships, super thanks, merch, uh, especially merch. The merch is just, the merch is amazing just because it's so personal. And to Patreon members as well. Thank you so much to everybody. It all means a lot. It all helps. This is very expensive to do this, very expensive gear. And I bring it all out here and I test it for you uh, to see what you think of it. Um, latest edition. This jacket, puffer jacket from Stella. It's good down to minus 10 with a couple of base layers underneath, apparently. Um, the tent I didn't buy, but the awning I did. Uh, what else have I bought? Oh, a few other things. Oh, the, the Floga kit for the Snow Peak stove here. The fire pit. I mean, I bought all of this. So, yeah, thank you so much to everybody. Mm. So what we're going to do is going to kick this one off straight away with Formula One. Now, I don't know what's going on with Formula One. It's been like this for a few years, but it's in a dire state. I don't watch Drive to Survive on Netflix because I think it's rubbish. I think it's made up. I think it's fantasy land. I think it's done for a particular type of audience that likes that kind of thing. But for me, a uh, uh, a purist Formula One guy that's been following since the days of Ayrton Senna as a little kid, uh, Drive to Survive is just a bunch of nonsense. It's like, do you remember that TV show Dallas? Yeah, it's that. It's just made up. This is what happens when you try and um, Hollywood sport. I'll tell you what else happens. Um, 
things like DRS, drag restraint system, uh, reduction system. Um, DRS is ruining Formula One or has ruined Formula One already. Get rid of DRS and you'll solve everything. Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton walked away with it for years and now Max Verstappen is walking away from years. Drug, the, the DRS system, the drag uh, reduction system means that you just, you just if the fastest car will always win. Whereas before, the fastest car didn't actually always win. Sometimes it got stuck behind people and was screwed. Um, you just, you know, physically couldn't get past. Now you don't have to outbreak anyone. You just wait till the straight and overtake them. It's rubbish, absolute rubbish. Please get rid of DRS. If F1 is listening, please get rid of it. These are artificial overtakes. They don't mean anything. In the history of F1, these will go down as the most useless overtakes, least skill overtakes of all time. So get rid of them, please. Max Verstappen is gonna walk this season, 2023. And unless something dramatic happens, he's gonna walk next season as well. It's not because of Max Verstappen, he's a great driver, but it's because of uh, Adrian Newey who developed the Red Bull car. It's always the car, it really is. But the gap between the cars is so huge right now. Um, and when you put a top driver, if you put Lewis Hamilton, Lando Norris, any of those guys in that Red Bull right now, they'd win as well. And they'd probably beat Max Verstappen. He's not that good. He's good, he's not that good. Um, so he's just good, great in that car. Same as Lewis Hamilton was, same as any other great driver. It's gotta be the great driver with a great car. Otherwise, it doesn't add up. So F1, that was on top of my mind, which is why I didn't need to refer to notes <laughs> to come up with that one. Cheers, everybody. Ah, TV, Succession. So I watched the finale. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, but it makes total sense. The, all the kids are awful. The whole family was awful. I think the, um, I can't remember the guy's name. The, the tech billionaire that takes over in the end from, uh, gosh, was he Swedish? I honestly can't remember any of it. Norwegian, I can't remember. He's a very much an Elon Musk kind of figure. So I think they based him on Elon Musk. And I think they based the, the old school stuff on uh, Murdoch family. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed in the ending, but what it did show is that nothing changes. Same old, same old. Um, these families uh, have no talent, no skill. Uh, one guy, the one guy that invented it is the genius and then the offspring are just useless. And I think that's what it said. And uh, he ended up just like his dad, sad, pathetic and alone. So that was succession. I enjoyed the show, it went on a bit, but you know, there you go. Oh, uh, massive news. <laughs> this was massive news. And I don't think it's still, res I don't think it's resolved. Uh, PGA and Liv and the European Tour of Golf have merged. Wow. So much for the moral high ground. What a sellout. Pathetic, really pathetic. I think Monaghan, who is head of PGA, should resign in shame for what he's done and not including the players in the discussions. Um, it just shows that money buys everything and the Saudis have bought their way into golf. Saudi Arabia is not a nice place. I don't care what you think of um, who's got relationships with it, but it is not a nice place. These are not nice people. They're brutal. And um, let's not forget that MBS, who's in charge now, executed a journalist and probably many journalists so this is not a nice place and people have just sold out for the money. Uh, it's incredible. 
You know, Ricky Gervais once did a joke, a skit, um, on the Golden Globes. And it was something along the lines of, uh, he was roasting Hollywood. And it was something along the lines of, if, if ISIS started up a streaming channel, you'd be onto your agent straight away to get on it. And honestly, that's what it is. None of these superstars have any morals. Anyone that's signed up for these things, they're just lacking in moral fiber. It's all about the money, all about the money. Ah. You know, I turn down sponsorships because I don't agree with them. I turn down a lot of stuff because I just think, no, that's just not right. It's not the right thing to do. These people who accept these things uh, for all of this huge amount of money, just for the sake of having money, uh, they've got no morals. So as far as I'm concerned, this whole live PGA sponsor, uh, um, collaboration or, or merging is, is, a sh is a shambles. It's a shock. It's, it's disgusting and I wish it had never happened. And all those people who signed up for live and took the money, shame on them. What, they did it for their family? It's blood money. You took blood money. That's it, pure and simple. It's just blood money. You know, someone died for that money. It's not right. It just isn't right. And I'm, I can cast judgment because I watch golf. So I'm gonna cast judgment as to how those golfers earn their income. That's how it is. Just like with politicians, I can cast judgment because I, I get to vote for them. Oh, Ukraine dam. <laughs> Jeez, Ukraine dam. Now look, it got blown up quite a few days ago. So by the time this video comes out, I don't know. Who did it? Does so everyone really think it was just Russia and that's it? Are we meant to just accept that it was Russia and that's it, blindly? Or do we think that Ukraine might have done some false flag and make Russia look bad? Or I just don't know. And I'm really anti-Putin. But I don't know anymore what's going on. Billions and billions being given to Ukraine. Where is the money? Is it all military hardware? Because there's a lot of people suffering in Ukraine who are poor, who got nothing, no food, nothing. But yet, America's giving billions to them. Where's that money going? Where are the accounts? Where's the list of where every dollar was spent? Who's getting it? So who blew up the dam, really? We need to find that out. Because there's a lot of false flag operations on both sides. They're, I wouldn't trust either of them, to be honest. Just my opinion, I wouldn't trust Ukraine or Russia right now. They both seem to be untrustworthy and there you go that's all i want to say about that but it's horrible what happened after the dam blew i haven't seen any you know what's weird i haven't seen any aerial footage drone footage showing what the dam looks like now why is that it's a bit odd isn't it there was a lot of aerial footage on mainstream media of the day that the dam was blown up but nothing since like no one's there's no live cam there's no update What's going on with that? I don't know. Very strange. Um, uh, I've, I've had a couple of comments about people, um, ironically, asking me to stop drinking and to stop smoking cigars. Because it's sending the wrong message. Look. Oh. Listen, you do you, okay? I'll do me. I, I'm, look, it thrills me that you love the channel, but we're all different, and I'm not here to virtue signal. I like cigars, I like alcohol. That's it. I don't think I need to say anything more on that subject. <laughs> and finally, okay, this isn't a very long cigar time, but oh, 
Apple has released these goggles, these Vision Pro, I don't know what they've called them, something. Apple Vision Pro, they're goggles. And just like the metaverse, oh, oh okay, this, this, is, this is how much it all stinks. When Zuckerberg did it, who I can't stand, and did it for meta, everyone went, creepy, 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 yuck, 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 awful. How stupid could you be? Oh, what a stupid world do we live in? No, 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 no. Oh, they, they all look stupid wearing these bloody goggles. Tim Cook and Apple release it. Wow, it's the future. That's amazing. Oh, they're phenomenal. Oh, I can see surgeons using this. Oh, filming your kid's birthdays wearing this so that you've got that 3D memory. Now, if you don't know what these goggles are, don't waste your time looking them up. But basically, um, give me a break. Can you, people wearing goggles so they don't actually see through their cameras li living virtually, filming life from memories? Just use your brain. Why does everything have to be digitized and catalogued? And yes, I'm sure someone's gonna find a use for them, but really, isn't it bad enough now that families have to enforce phone bans at the dinner table, at the dining table, to stop the kids being on their phones? Can you imagine a bunch of people sitting around in a living room, where <laughs> each wearing goggles, doing their own thing? Wow. I can't believe people got suckered into this, really. I've got a friend who thinks this is the best thing ever, that it's amazing. He only thinks that because it's Apple and he's an Apple fanboy. And I use all Apple gear, but please give me a break. This isn't a brilliant thing. This is a nightmare, a nightmare invention. It's yet, look, Apple is a listed company and it has one aim and one aim only, to own you. That's it, that's all Apple's goal is, that's all Go Google's goal is, that's all these tech companies is, own you. These are a, these goggles, just as they were for the metaverse, and they're exactly the same sort of thing, they're, there's no difference. It's a terrible idea. You're, it's the kids that are going to get trapped in this rubbish. And they're not going to look around. They're not going to be out exploring, checking out what's going on, looking at nature. <sighs> Honestly, we've just let tech destroy our lives. And to think that I have to go camping and film it to show people on YouTube what's out there that's bad enough because it, everyone should just be out there doing it. But there are people that cannot physically get out there and do it. So I'm here doing it for them and they can get to see it. But to live in a set of goggles? Ah, oh, come on. It's Emperor's new clothes. I can't believe people think this is a good idea. I, I can't believe it. This is not a good idea. This is a terrible idea for humanity. It really is a terrible idea. Get out. Just get out. Go out and see nature. Just do it. Really. Don't sit at home wearing Apple Pro Vision, Go Vision Pro goggles. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Ah, on that note, so let me just, look, end cigar time differently. Let's talk about camp setup. This Snow Peak grill has been superb. I have to say, best bit of kit I've bought. I've got the Winnowell stove, uh, fire pit. It's okay. <laughs> Bruno just sniffed the cigar and stepped back. That's just not nice, is it? It's not nice. I know. It's not nice. He's like, Dad, why have you got that thing? It's disgusting. You don't want it. 
That's right, you don't want it. It's not food. I know. <laughs> Bless him, he's so lovely. Um, yeah, the, the, the setup. This Snow Peak grill and the Floga and whatever and the grill, superb. This combination thing, you don't need anything else. Cook everything on this. I've got that bloody tripod. I thought I would hang the nachos on that, but it's not big enough to fit over this with this thing on. Oh well, that was my mistake. Maybe I'll use it for another thing, another time when I don't have to have this surround unit on. But the heat that bounces back from the, the walls of this thing, incredible. So it obviously works, because it, it, there is a lot of heat coming off here. I'm just cold because there's air coming in at the sides here, so I'm cold. If I moved all the way back there, it is warmer. But I don't want to sit in there. I want to sit out in the open. Which brings me to the next point, the awning that comes with, well, that you have to buy, it's, a, it's an optional extra. The awning is worth it, get the awning. Um, yeah, it's a great product, I really like it. It is pooling though. Um, so, maybe they just need to work on a way to stop that from pooling. Maybe if I had the poles down more at the front, it wouldn't do it as much. Uh, don't get burnt. So yeah, I love that. I love this vestibule area in here. It is huge. I don't know why I'm not sitting in there. To be honest, I should be sitting in there. It's toasty warm in there. And I can't believe I'm not sitting there when it's... <laughs> Are you done? Okay. He'll learn. Um, yeah, I should be sitting in there, really. It's a beautiful, warm area. I don't know why I'm not. Maybe I'm mad. And then the bedroom. Well, we'll see at bedtime what that's like. But I'm looking forward to it. Hanging out in there. I think it will be toasty. I've got a warm bed set up, the Zen Bivy. I've got a different Zen Bivy. Another one they, they sent me um, that's good down to uh, 10 degrees. Yeah, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in centigrade, but it's cold. So I'm gonna be toasty warm. He's got his full bed in there. We've got a blanket for him and his bed. Um, I'm looking forward to that, being in there. Should be relaxing. All right, everybody, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna relax. Enjoy the rest of my cigar, the rest of my wine. I might have a hot chocolate later, but I'll bring you back for bedtime. Oh, and for the hot chocolate, how I'm gonna cook that, make up hot water. I've got my electric kettle. All I do is I plug it into the um, EcoFlow and I've got that running here, so not a problem. All right, everyone, bring you back later. Ah, uh, okay, welcome back everybody. Time to set the beds up. Let me just take my boots off. Okay, so we've got... Uh, hope you can all see me. Oh, it's cold. Okay, we've got Bruno's bed. Uh, so we've got his blanket here. going to lie under and we've got somewhere oh yeah, his actual bed keep him warm underneath right so that's Bruno's bed okay so my bed Sleep next to him. Wait there, Bruno. No, 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 no. Don't come in yet.
Okay, so we've got the Zen Bibi light mattress. Might just give that a, a little bit of a give that a boost. Okay. And we've got the Zen Bibi light. What is this? Zen Bibi light quilt. It's a duck down, 800 fill power. All in one. Quilt and sheet. Okay, so you just loop it onto the mattress. Now, the mattress doesn't seem to be holding pressure. Okay. See if that does it. All right. So the connector sheet goes onto the mattress. And you're not meant to pack it all up in one, but I have, so it's my fault. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let me bring you back when I've sorted this out.
Okay, we've got there in the end. Right, the pillow goes in there. Now, one thing I've noticed about this mattress is it doesn't hold its pressure. I noticed this before, and I think this is a problem with this valve. It actually leaks. Yep, I can hear it. Yep, it's useless. This valve is leaking. So, Zen Vivi light mattress, fail. Stick to Thermarest. That's gonna be useless tonight, so I'll probably end up getting cold. Um, so the rest of it, though, I know is pretty good because I've used the core bed. But safe to say, the mattress is gonna be next to useless tonight. I might end up getting cold tonight, we'll see. The air is just flowing out of this thing, it's ridiculous. This valve, it doesn't matter what you do to it, it will not stick. And the air is just coming out of it. That is a poor design. So Zen Bivy light mattress, don't do it. It's a terrible design, the air is coming out, it's not sealed. Look at it, it's floppy, she said. No, that's useless, okay. Give up on that. Right, Bruno is sitting here waiting to come in, like a good boy. Got my pajamas, my new merch, my new pajamas. Check it out. AB camping. All right, come on, Bruno. Come on. Come on, you're sitting here. You might as well come up. Up, bedtime. Come on, up, up, up. Oh, he's not used to it. Here. No, no, no. Bruno, here. Up, up. Come on, up. Up. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. There. Let me take his collar off. All right. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. There. He'll be warm. Nice and warm. And he's right next to me here. This bed is flat, completely flat. Look at that. That's not good. I can hear the air coming out the valve. Wow, that's that's a big disappointment. Oh no, there's a hole here. Oh, there's a hole. That's what it is. It's not. There's actually a hole in the mattress. Okay, that might be my fault from where I packed it. Okay, I take it back. There is a repair kit. And guess what? I've left the repair kit at home. Ah, uh, it's okay. Usually I have a repair kit in my first aid kit though yes okay I've got a repair kit here patch kit this might work sorry Zen baby it's not your fault so it's my fault there was a hole in there my fault entirely okay All right, let's try this with the patch kit. Oh, now I need to find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll see if that holds tonight. I'll let that sit for a while before I pump it up. Always carry a repair kit with you. Because you just never know. And it does come with one. But I might double this one up. Hang on.
I've got a double kit here. Let's see if this helps. I think it's enough. All right, let's pump it up and see if it lasts. Ah, uh, right, what did I do with the pump? So that's, oh my God, that's the difference between old school and new school. All right, let's pump it up again and see what happens. Looks like it's holding. We'll see. Well, I guess we'll see in the middle of the night if that has held. But I've got a patch on there, so. Right, my knees have gone completely numb. Oh, that's cold. The floor, the floor is freezing. All right, everybody bring you back in bed. Oh. Welcome back everybody. Okay. Getting all tucked in now. Oh. Okay, so the sit rep on the, uh, the pad is fixed. Uh, that was my fault. There was a hole in there. Must have been from when I stashed it last time and I shoved it straight into the back of the truck. I must have torn it. Um, so applying a, a sticky patch that comes with the kit, uh, fixed that. So now it's solid, yeah. No leaking, fully inflated, no problem. Uh, Bruno's happy. He's tired, he's been running around like crazy. He's had a great time. He's warm and he'll be dry by the morning under the under his blanket. And I'm tucked up in the Zembivy. So what is this? This is the light bed. Yeah. 10 degrees. It's good down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And I tell you what, oh it feels cozy. And you, you clip it in. So it's got these wings to stop the draft and all you do is you just clip it in and it stops the draft from getting in. But, you know, I've got to get back up to turn the camera off so there's no point clipping myself in. I'm wearing my pyjamas, new merch, very comfy fleecy pyjamas. I'm happy, this is good. It's cold outside, I tell you. It's cold in here. I don't know if you can see my, see my breath. So I've got the top vent open there and there's a vent open at the back here on the back of the tent. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there's a vent here as well. No condensation. By now there would already be constant condensation in the Oz tents and the canvas. So um, fingers crossed, all is good. Look how much room I've got. There's so much space in here. It is a massive space. I like it. This is a brilliant tent. I wish I was actually doing two nights here now. I can't do two nights, but I wish I was. What do you think, Bruno? Hey, Bruno, what do you think? Are you comfy in here? Do you like it? <laughs> Lots of room for him. So this is his first time on this bed. This was Brucey's bed. Now it's Bruno's bed. And it's his first time on here. And he looks like he's taken to it straight away. 
he's going to get super warm under here. Yeah, he'll be dry in the morning. What I'm going to do is tonight, I'll tuck him in and then just cover him completely. And he'll just curl up under here like this. See? He'll just curl up and he'll be super, super warm and dry all night. Yeah, he's going to have a good night on here. Very comfy on this bed. Outdoor connection bed. All right, everybody, it's been a good night. I'm exhausted. I'm glad I've got a decent tent. I'm glad I'm warm. I'm toasty in this thing. This is Mbivy. Oh my God. I've got to try this on the tops because this is toasty. I will catch you all in the morning. And by the way, it's still raining. You just can't hear it because of the noise of the river. All right, everyone. Catch you in the morning. Night, Bruno. Night, night. Night, everybody. Morning, Bruno. Morning, everybody. Hello. Morning, my lovely. Morning. Oh, I slept, but it was so comfy on this bed, but I was so hot. Uh, I cooled down in the morning. 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 You coming over? Come on, then. Morning. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Tea bag. Um. <laughs> Mm, morning. These little whimpers that he does. Oh, you're gonna. <laughs> Bruno just fell off the bed. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Bruno. Come on, then. Where are you going? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Come on, then. Oh, uh, Bruno. <laughs> morning. Morning. Morning, my lovely. I know. It's very exciting. It's a new day. Morning. Uh, yeah, so I was sweltering hot. I've opened the vents up, but I just... This fleecy pyjama thing that I've, I've got, my merch, it's so toasty that I had to undo the sleeping bag. <laughs> uh, and then I got cold because I'd undone the sleeping bag. So I had to keep alternating just so I could get the right temperature. Right, I've got to get up gonna let him go out and do his peas so I'll bring you back outside morning Bruno morning you had a good sleep didn't you yeah mm. all right everyone I'll bring you back <sighs> okay Bruno's waiting patiently to come out so let's let Bruno out uh, how do we do this? Hang on, let me just do this bit up. Do that bit up first. Yeah, let him out down here. There he goes. Go on then. Oh. Okay, so not too bad out here water coming off oh we've got a bit of pooling oh, there's a bit of pooling up there other than that all looks good no pooling on the actual tent just a bit of pooling on the tarp all right let's go and deal with that Right, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's still raining. So, what we're gonna do is, oh, and it's cold. Time for the puffer jacket. Time for Bruno's breakfast.
Look at breakfast, Bruno. I'm still stuffed. I'm so stuffed from last night. I don't think I can manage breakfast. So I'm just going to settle for coffee. Okay, sit. Bruno, sit. Bruno, sit. Good boy. Go on then. <laughs> just got to learn the rules. Okay, so I'm just going to have a coffee. Got my kettle here, all ready to go. Yeah, I had big plans. I was going to have pancakes. Oh, but I'm just so stuffed. That was so much food last night. I definitely overdid it. This is not going to be a fun pack up. <laughs> and I really do wish I was doing I was doing two nights. I think two nights would have been perfect. Because it's such a beautiful setup and it's such a beautiful setting with the river right in front of me. Yeah. It's a shame. But I've got to get back. So I'm warm in here. Oh, I can let some light in actually. That's better. I love the fact you've got these windows here. Yeah, so it's warmer in here than sitting out there. But it's still cold. Alright everyone, I'm going to chill out, I'm going to have my coffee and I'll bring you back for breaking down camp but I'm going to be here for another hour probably just soaking it all up, literally yep, so I'll bring you back thanks for coming everyone ok, welcome back everybody alright, oh, I've got more water <laughs> Hey Bruno! Alright, so, time to pack up. Um, I've got a lot of gear, it's going to take me quite a while, so as usual, I'm going to fast forward it from now.
Okay. To be honest, that was pretty pain free. That tent is easy to pack down. I've, as you've seen, it's not a neat job. I've thrown everything in the back because it's all soaking wet. No point packing it up into all of its bags and everything else. Uh, there's just so much water everywhere. I've got to get up home, unpack absolutely everything and wait for a sunny day. <laughs> because uh, you can't set you can't open that up indoors it's just too big but i tell you what that is a superb tent okay so all i need to do now is pack away the starling so let me go and get that Alright everyone, we'll bring you back, crossing the stream, and we'll say our goodbyes after we've crossed over the stream. I don't know how deep it's going to be, there's been a lot of rain, we'll see. So I'll bring you back then. deeper than yesterday okay let's go through it I'm gonna put the lock the diff and we shall go through noise big rock just hit the side there <laughs> oh. right let's have a walk around and see uh, what the damage is but the good news was that Bruno didn't seem to be affected by it let's have a look around oh let's let Bruno out so he can have an explore here so just check the wheels Whenever you do a big bumpy crossing like that, that really took a pounding, you just need to check everything. All looks okay. I heard a big bang from a boulder on the right side here. Whether it hit the door, I don't know. No, it must have hit the underside. Let's go and have a look at that river. Come on, Bruno. Let's go check it out. Let's go and see where this... Hey, Bruno, come on. Let's go and see what it was that I hit. Don't go in, Bruno. Oh, I see. So yesterday, yesterday I hit that. That took a chunk out of my wheel, that big boulder there. And then just now, I don't know what it was, something big just here hit it. It is quite deep and it is rushing quite fast. You can see how high it comes up. It comes all the way up here. It floods all the way over the top here. Can you imagine when this thing is in full maximum flood? I mean, look up here. There's debris. That's, that's over a meter above me. So it comes all the way up and you can see all the, the bushes in the background, they're all swept. So that's over, like a meter and a half it comes up. So this is not a kind of place you want to camp when there's a major, major storm coming. Um, it just, you just wouldn't be able to make it across this stream. It's, it gets scary here, very scary. 
All right. I think it's time to get home. So thank you again, everyone, for coming on this. This is a bit of a shorter one. I had a good time. <laughs> I needed to get away. I did have a good time. I love these conditions. I love this spot. You know, you could actually camp here as well. But again, if the river is up really high, then that's going to be underwater. Uh, you might be safe just on this ledge here. I don't know. All right, everyone, come on, Bruce. Bruno. Oh, I've got to get stop calling him Bruce. It's a force of habit. Come on. Jump in. Come on. Up, up. Go on. Up. Good boy. Oh, you're soaked. Oh, my truck is a mess. <laughs> Good boy. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for coming on this. Thank you again for everyone who's bought merch. Uh, buy, uh, bought us treats on Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, has done YouTube thanks and super thanks and YouTube members um, and Patreon members. You're all fantastic, honestly. You guys, <laughs> you, you incentivize us to keep coming back and doing these things, especially in these conditions. I could so easily just do nice, sunny, shiny camping. Um, be a lot easier for me, but I know what you guys want to see and I enjoy doing it as well. I love the challenge. It's going to take me a couple of days to dry out everything that's in the back of the truck. It's pretty soaked. And you want to go home and see your mummy, don't you? You want to see mummy? That's right, there's the head tilt. All right, I think it's time to go home. All right, again, thanks a lot, everybody. And uh, see you next time on Camping with Tony and Bruno on AB Camping. Thanks very much, everyone. See you soon. Should we go home? All right. Bye, Bruno. Say bye. Bye, everybody.